Uh, speaking of Apple and what they're doing with their own silicon upcoming MacBooks that may tempt buyers, we got this M1X chipset, which was spotted on a benchmark site. And this could be this could be the chip that you see coming out in those higher powered machines, maybe in an iMac, maybe in a MacBook Pro, something like this, because, well, obviously you already have the M1 in the uh, more budget minded products, the 13 inch uh well, I guess the 13-inch MacBook Pro yep. and the 13-inch MacBook Air, but I'm speaking specifically of the larger MacBook Pro, which mm. is waiting for its M1 treatment. So this pops up on a benchmark site, and if you actually go to the next tab over, you'll see... Now, for the record, there's a little warning at the top. It says, the information shown below is based on a pre-sample. Technical details or benchmark results may be different in a final version of this processor. So... Take it for what it's worth, but here's some of the specs what we see. Uh, frequency of 3.2 gigahertz, 12 CPU cores, all right? So right now we're 8 and 8, right? You have 8 CPU cores, 8 GPU cores on the M1. This steps you up to 12 co CPU cores, and if you scroll down to the graphics, that's 16 cores. Uh, if you look at the GPU name, Apple M1X 16 core, with 16 gigabytes of GPU memory. Holy smokes. That, I mean, you can just imagine what kind of performance you might be looking at considering mm. how frantic the entire community got over the M1 on its own. Mm. You start looking at an M1X, which takes you from eight cores on the CPU to 12 and eight cores on the GPU to 16. Mm. Very impressive. I mean, it's, again, it's early stuff. Look at the max displays as well, three. That's interesting. Oh. Three displays. I wonder at what resolution. Yeah. Huh. GPU frequency also 3.2 gigahertz. So, yes, we all know it's going to happen. They will trans transition completely, uh, with the only exception being the large Mac Pro, which will stick to Intel. But everything else, the rumored little Mac Pro, the rumored MacBook Pro 15 or bigger and are maybe even a 14 and then also imax 14 and a 16 maybe 14 16 also imax mm. right yeah. the imac is awaiting its chip so actually i believe if you scroll down it does seem to indicate which models could receive this treatment over here uh, devices using this processor they have the apple macbook pro 14 2021 Apple MacBook Pro 16 2021, and Apple iMac 27 2021. I mean, that's cool. what they're indicating here. But remember, CPUMonkey.com, I mean, it's super early stuff. But stay tuned, I suppose.